Hello everyone and welcome back to Deb Chanel's 48's World and I am Deb Chanel. Hello everybody. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back and happy new year for 2020. Okay, I don't know what the president got going on up there doing them airstrikes and sending missiles here and there. But God bless America and all of humanity. Okay, I just wanted to get that on out in case tomorrow be some big happening we back in world war three or something going to have world war three but on my media news feed that media takeout news had brought to fruition don't know if it's true or not but what if it is y'all what is bravo over there doing i mean i'm, I'm kind of tired of how they brought season 12 in they pretty much had played it throughout um social media um after they finished taping and we pretty much knew everything that had happened because we all who are content creators was out there just banging out those salacious stories that they put them out trying to give us teasers and telling us what may have happened or could have happened and we just got to tune in when the season starts and this that and the third and hell when the season started it's like i had deja vu like i had already experienced all this stuff that i'm seeing because i had already did commentary well, honey, lo and behold, they sitting up there saying Portia Williams and Dennis McKinley got married in Mexico. Now, how true that is, I don't know. But Media Takeout thought it was news we could use, and they brought it out, and I put it on my tube, too, because I'm trying to figure out. Damn, Portia, you don't went and got married on us. You eloped, honey. And it's not far-fetched. It could be plausible because her mother was over there over in mexico i don't know if she was just tending to the baby while they had a little honeymoon but they ain't really had no honeymoon because they ain't even married right so i wonder what her mama doing over there smoozing and cruising on over there with them too she should have been at work handling her business like portia said she got a business but anyway if we must let us go on and get into the story that media takeout news brought out um for us Okay, we just going to shut him on out. But it was Tiffany Brock Brockworth. She put it out on yesterday. Okay. Like I said, it came across my news feed. And I was tired. I was tired yesterday, y'all. I had went back to work after being off almost two weeks. And it seemed like I had worked an eight-hour, nine-hour day. I was just that tired. And then... Today, when I went to work, it was just catching up, on, catching up on what I tried to catch up on when I went back that Thursday. Ooh, it was a hot mess. But I enjoyed myself. I ain't going to lie. I enjoyed myself with the fam. But fam, I'm coming to you because I'm kind of curious. You know, curiosity um, piqued my interest. And I want to know that Portia Williams and Dennis McKinley went on and got uh, married. They went over and eloped over in Mexico because somebody caught him coming out from the um marriage and um vital license section downtown you know people ain't gonna keep no uh, news to themselves when somebody come and try to uh file something against somebody bad you know like bankruptcy or repossessions or anything that's being filed in the court people gonna leak news ain't they they're gonna leak news like it ain't nobody business but anyway, they were trying to say Dennis was down there getting him a marriage license. And you know, well, you probably don't know if you ain't experienced trying to get married. But um, it's uh, you can go down there and petition for a marriage license, but it's only good for 30 days. You know what I'm saying? So, mm -mm. But let's get on into the story that media takeout news thought we could use. So I'm bringing it on my tube to see if we can digest this factual story or maybe it all may be allegedly untrue okay but tiffany Brockworth, she brought out the news article on yesterday and she titled it atlanta housewives portia and dennis secretly wed yesterday in mexico now like, one thing i want to say about media takeout they have been getting their stories kind of straight lately because i'm sure they was in a lot of litigation about bringing out false news here and there or whatnot but it seems like they say they got it from a credible source now i don't know who the source may be because they don't want to give up that but i'm sure they're getting paid real well but we go on into the article it's very short and sweet and to the point it says real housewives of Atlanta star Portia Williams and fiance Dennis McKinley were secretly married yesterday in Mexico. Media takeout news have learned. I'm like, now could she be taking a uh, uh, play 
out of Kenya Moore's playbook. But then again, Kenya Moore didn't tell us nothing about her so-called marriage either. But then we didn't have a marriage license certificate that we could find either way. Either where she got married at or I don't forgot where it was. Anybody remember where she went and got married? Please put it in the comments because I'm kind of a little blurred on that as well. But we couldn't find, uh, well, I ain't going to say because I ain't looking. I ain't going to lie to you. But the heavy duty big bloggers out there to try to, you know, be out there watching everybody's move in the celebrity realm and, and, and getting people to uh, photograph them and see what the business they were trying to take care of to see if it's some salacious raw news that we can probably use out here in the entertainment field or circulating other people's news okay um we did somebody did say dennis were down there getting a uh, certificate okay now we didn't get that over in here in atlanta when we were trying to search or i should say they were trying to search and i was waiting patiently uh to see if they found any evidence that uh she or mark had filed in the uh state of georgia anywhere in any county but that wasn't necessarily true No one could find any evidence of sort. But anyway, we go on back to the article. It says um, the couple had been planning a January 1st wedding and they went through with it, according to multiple people close to the couple. And we have more tea. Media Takeout News learned that the entire wedding and the lead up was filmed by Bravo and is expected to be a part of the couple's upcoming upcoming spinoff show now what you got to say about that now now what you got to say what you got to say now was bravo leaking their own tea now i don't know that was just my pun intended but let's get on back into the article it said and we have receipts to prove it all first dennis was spotted on december 5th coming out of atlanta city hall presumably to get a marriage license the license is only good for 30 days and if you go on uh his instagram page work when celebrate he has a um a picture where he took of uh, in the back of him city hall it was dressed up in a little reef you know i mean he was down there trying to take care of a little business business and of course the business maybe he picked up a marriage license and the other business he could be paying some taxes i don't know we just out there waiting for the tea to really you know drop so we can partake but we're gonna partake of this tea anyway because it's me and you we family we just gonna sit and talk about this thing and you know it wouldn't be bad because hell they don't need everything under the sun they might well make it official but i hope she got that prenup like kanye say we won't prenup we won't prenup okay hopefully she solidified that before she said i do but you know she didn't get married or anything like that and she, she's supposed to be a religious person but you know she got pregnant and had a baby she even talking about a second baby and you know that ain't kosher if you really believe and what the books say but then again you know the book could be rewritten and reworded and it's there about a speculation of how they want to view it so we just gonna back off that little table uh madness i was trying to go through because Portia gonna do what she want to do she a grown-ass woman she can do it we just on the sideline putting our little perspectives our opinions uh that ain't worth two cents you know in my book but it's just a good banter and we having a good conversation with one up one another because that's what you came for to the house for to have a little conversation have a little gossip to talk about and see what we feel about this situation okay nobody's opinion is neither here nor there and all opinions are valid okay we just keep it respectful but going back to the article because they're giving us clues and tips and stuff of how we can view it uh she goes and says secondly here's evidence that portia and her mom were in mexico together for new year's okay and if you go on miss diane official that's her mother's um instagram account and she is posing with portia williams okay yes they are they up there taking photographs in a little spa type setting thing they could be getting a little vacation time with a little baby girl hey she's so good yes she is she's so cute they may be getting a little vacation time in but i don't know who would want a vacation in 
um, January. You know, it's kind of cool and rainy out there these days. But, you know, who are, who are we to speculate? Well, well, yeah, we, we can. We can. I'll take that back. We can speculate all day long. But we don't never know the truth. It's here or there, okay? Again, it's just entertainment. We just talking. We just kicking it up. And we just trying to catch up on all these celebrities running rampant out here doing all sorts of things, okay? But going back to the article, it said, um, and there's a reason for that. If I mean, it's the same reason that you haven't, haven't you seen anything? Okay, wait a minute, let me go back. It says neither Dennis nor Portia have posted about the couple did on New Year's Day or New Year's Eve, and there's a reason for that. It's the same reason that you haven't seen anything about their wedding on social media, according to our snitch. Hmm, what they say? Snitches get stitches, but okay, maybe not in the entertainment realm when you're trying to drop that gossip tea. And you know it always be somebody that's close and near and dear to you that do it. Okay, if it's not the Bravo ex themselves. Okay. But it says uh, Bravo wants news of the wedding to be a surprise. Well, it ain't too much a surprise now if I got it. And I'm sure several other bloggers got it as well. But it just is what it is. We're going to watch. We're going to learn. And we're going to uh, sit and put our opinions on subject matter whenever it comes out to fruition. Okay? That's what we do over here. Okay? Um, we don't judge and, and try nobody. We just make speculations. Okay? And let the chips fall where they may when they do come to reality. All right? Okay. So it says Barbara wants it to be a surprise. So the network banned. Do you hear me? Let me say it again. Banned uh, all of the people involved in the show from posting about it on social media. Okay. Dennis told fans that he has a mysterious Instagram ban. Okay. What do you mean? What do you mean? What you mean now? What you mean? What you mean? What you mean now? Okay. And of course, if you go and check out some photographs on his Instagram account, it shows pretty much him and Portia and all this other kind of stuff that they got going on. So my question to you all, do you think Portia and Dennis are actually married? Do you think she and Dennis signed a prenup agreement prior to getting married? I don't know. I mean, me, I wouldn't put it past them. I bet those jokers did go over there and get married and film the whole thing because really... I didn't care if Portia got married or not. I really don't care to have seen her wedding. Now, a spinoff after they got married and see how they cohabitating together, uh, cohabitating together that would be sensational. That would be tantalizing because I want to see how he get down on who don't watch that baby while both of them got to go to work and make that money, okay? Did they get a prenup? That's what I'm really trying to be concerned about. No, it's not my business, but it just makes a good banter to talk about. You know, when we having coffee or we sitting there drinking tea, however it be. Over here, uh, Deb Chanel's the family fam. We just want to know. We just want to know. Okay, they family to us. They come into our televisions, our homes every Sunday when we sit and watch them. So, hey, we consider them family. We want to know. They should have told us. Drop the hint. Send some breadcrumbs down or something. Send it by a pigeon. Okay? But it is, is what it is. I made my speculation. So, you know I'm going to ask what you think about subject matter. Get out in them comments. Tell me what you think. Is Portia Williams is now Portia Williams McKinley? Or she's taking a full name and dropping Williams all together? I don't know, honey. I don't know if she want to give up that Jose Williams name. That choo-choo train that she started. That she thought was still going around here in the 21st century. I don't know. You know, that's my pun intended. I ain't going to never let that go. I'm going to always think Portia thought there really was an underground railroad that people were taking in today's society today. That was hilarious. And that was just priceless. Okay. But I'll see y'all next video. Y'all take good care of yourselves. Okay. Bye-bye. Oh, and I forgot, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Like and share my videos. All right, guys. Bye-bye.